like that music. Uh, good afternoon. It, it is the afternoon. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. When we are this hour, we're talking all about stamp addicts, is what we're talking about. And brand new Christmas stamps at that. Now, before you go, Christmas stamps at this time of the year. Yes, perfect time to be making your Christmas cards ready for the Christmas season coming up. And we have uh, little gnome houses. I've got a brand new little gnome. I've got trees. I've got returning favourites like your snow globes in there with added extras as well. But talking of little gnomes, <laughs> yes, this is not a de this is not a Derek joke. <laughs> talking of little gnomes and a returning favourite, we're working together again. It's our Sarah. You're up, my love. <laughs> It's got to put red on, isn't it? I should put a hat as well. <laughs> that would have been amazing if we I'd would have thrown to you. I've never been called a gnome before. <laughs> in a little gnome costume with the little legs on the counter, <laughs> sitting on a toadstool. Oh dear. How are you, love? You're right. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, very excited. Because <laughs> um, I, I love a gnome. I think this is why we bond. <laughs> I love a little gnome and I love anything to do with gnomes as well. Not the actual figurine stamp forms. I'm not one of those. Uh, but uh, I like the little stamp forms because you can do so much with them. Yes. Last year I did my entire wrapping paper with gnomes on and coloured it all in. It's one of those things that you start, you wish I'd never have started it. Uh, but it looked really effective. Um, and with the gnomes that we've got on the show, and we will get to him shortly, uh, if you change the colours, he's going to last you throughout the year. And I think, I think possibly th all of these stamps could lead you through the entire year yes they could because a, a gnome is not just for christmas very true <laughs> you're all year round and with the gnome cottage there's it's got four little flowers things on it which are different flowers to go in the window boxes that's the word window boxes I look at so this. there's there's poinsettias as well as regular flowers so you can have it for different seasons. So you've got your regular flowers this side, you've got your poinsettias and your holly this side as well. It's all on the stamp. The stamp is absolutely huge, is what you're looking at. It's a big old stamp is what you're getting in there. Uh, once again, you can use it all year round, which I do, uh, which I think is really, really nice. Because when it's stamped out, you can see some of the stamples all from the same stamp. But look how different they all look in there, using the different mediums that you've got in there. There is the gnome done in shrink plastic that we've also got on the show. He's also coming up as well. Uh, love that. But then even on craft card, just the simple ones on craft card, your simple colouring in techniques that you're going to use. That is literally what you're seeing there is just a simple stamped out and coloured in image. Then we've taken the flowers off and we've put them in the little window boxes uh, that you see in there. And then simple colouring, just little bits of glitter and glue that you've got on. But it still packs a punch. Even if you look at the path, especially in that one that you've just seen or the one we're moving on to, I reckon you could sort of get away with a babbling brook with yes. the path that you've got there leading uh, either up to a house or if you sort of manipulate the stamp slightly, you could get a babbling brook out of it. Make it a moat. <laughs> a little moat around the gnome house. Yeah. Love a little moat. Uh, we've got so many more as well uh, that you can see. Simple mats and layers. This is a stamp that is going to fill a card. You only need the one real stamp with this set, don't you? You do. And that is a card yes, ready to do. It is. And so, um, it's for any season. So it's a party. It's a new home. It's, it's congratulations. You know, someone's bought a home or they've moved house or they've just decorated. And you want to say, well done. <laughs> the first time you've painted a wall. <laughs> Do we send cards? For, well done, you've done up your living room. So, sometimes you should. That is very true. Uh, £12.99. <laughs> we'll leave that conversation there. Uh, 181138 is your item number for your little gnome cottage. Cling mounted rubber stamps. Uh, moving from there, we're now going to move on to the little trees that we've got on the show. Uh, this is your funky Christmas uh, stamp that you're looking at now. Uh, beautiful little trees that you've got in there, but will give you so many different techniques that you can use them for. Because of the pattern that you've got in it, it's quite an easy to repeat the pattern. So if you are going to make your own wrapping paper, you want to extend the stamp yeah. onto your bigger cards, you can do that with this stamp. You easily can, and especially when you trim, if you trim in, take out the gaps around the edges so that you can see where there are spaces so you can easily um, repeat stamp. But this is a design from Judykins our friends in America that we've been working with for 25 years. And the other two, Nomi and Nomi's Cottage, are from Sherry, Sherry West, oh, our designer. Our Sherry. In um, Peru, Indiana. Oh. So, <laughs> different parts of the States. 
We're all American today. All American today, Ash. Oh, they're beautiful, the way you look at them. Uh, we've also got those sentiments on the show as well. We're going to do them next. Let me show you some other things uh, that you can do with them when you get them home. Uh, look at this. So this is just to say how you can repeat that part, but you haven't got to use the entire stamp if you don't want to. Uh, then stamping them into, what have we stamped this into? Amazing glaze. Oh, is that stamped into the amazing yes, glaze? Yes, on a twinchy. Oh, that's what I'm going to show you. Right, then we've got the amazing glaze <laughs> on the show. Ross, it is on the show, isn't it? It is on the show. The amazing glaze is on the show. Uh, from there, uh, we've also got, there is so many, look how simple this is, but so effective. <laughs> Simple but effective that you've got going on there. A little bit of velvet uh, that you've got on for that little Santa's buckle. Uh, or even that. You imagine that going through your foiler. Oh, now we're talking. Uh, that necessarily doesn't have to be Christmas, I don't think. No. It, or it could be a, an autumn birthday. Or you could, you, the little flowers from the cottage, put them on the trees. This lovely, I love a shaker card on TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, look at the, just the background uh, that you're getting in there. It really, really works. Uh, then we've got the angels. Up. We've got snow globe on the show as well. Uh, we've also got your angels. There they are. Look, the boys that are in my ears at the moment. Our Ross and Jimmy. There they are. <laughs> um, which is which? We'll put them up. We're always busy for the little angel boys. <laughs> Uh, that we've got on there so we'll put the details on the bottom of the screen now there they are the praying angels 13 pounds and 49 pence uh, there is so many more to show you but for 11 pounds and 99 pence you really can't go wrong 371851 is your item number for that and last but no means least my little tiny friend <laughs> i like this stamp i have Loved it. I saw the advert go out on Sarah's social media the other day and I was first on the old Facebook Messenger. Have we got gnomes on <laughs> Tuesday? She was like, yes, we have. And here they are. Uh, look at these. Now, it all makes sense because this photo I got sent, I thought, well, it's just Father Christmas, isn't it? He's all in red. He's got his buckle on. It's, but it's not. You change the colour. He could be anything you want him to be. So there he is as Father Christmas. But on the back of that, you could also turn him into a little leprechaun. Oh, yes, definitely. If you wanted to. <laughs> you do him in your shrink plastic. You've got a tiny little gnome. Look at these. Then you can use... Oh, I love this. Absolutely love them mm -hmm. in the shrink. This works well. Look at that. These would make amazing earrings. Yes, or, or key rings, or yeah, we don't do phone charms anymore, but yeah, we, we used to. Back so in day with pogs. Handbag charms. <laughs> no, they would, because you know, the little, uh, everyone's moved on to wine glass earrings. Oh, yes, earrings that's now. it. You know, yes. what you put around your wine glass, you know it's well, yours. You could all have your own colour. Yeah, it's a, apparently it's a thing you do these days, Dan, when they're drinking the Lambrini. But uh, make then, them before you start drinking. Yeah, so then you know which is your glass. That's what you do for. Well, well but the that. heating. We don't want the heating after the drinking. Oh, no, you don't, don't <laughs> want to be doing that. I like him in his little welly boots. He looks a jolly little soul. Love that for a little birthday card. Uh, you're getting that and you're also getting the happy birthday and happy Christmas as well. Uh, all good sizes that we're talking about. There's your little gnome stamps. There's your happy birthday. Uh, and awesome. I love all of this. Uh, and you also get your happy birthday and happy Christmas. £16 and 99 pence. 506531 is your item number. Now, before we go to demonstration, I've got to say something. Now, we've all been waiting for these to start again. Come here. We've all been waiting. We've all been waiting. We've all wanted to get out of the house. We've all... Keep your distance. Uh, we've all wanted to get out of the house and we want to go somewhere. Guess what, people? Stamparama is back. Yes, indeed. I've got two dates for you. We've got Harrogate on the 23rd of October. And then we've also got Newbury on the 14th of November. Now... Your tickets are at the bottom of the screen. Your Newbury tickets are here. It's £3 for your Harrogate tickets, OK? Um, Stamparama. Yes. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> OK, me. so we've got lots of um, exhibitors, lots of craft store um, suppliers are going to be there, demonstrations. Not sure yet if we run in classes, 
because of obviously you know whether there are restrictions we've widened the aisles so there's lots of space there'll be lots of sanitization stations but you know your favorite guests will be there with the products um, pink ink supplies all their stamps will be there there's just so many there's a list on the website if you click on the tickets you can see the exhibitor list or visit the website stamparama.com and we, we keep that updated as new exhibitors join. But it's just a fun day out. It's relaxed, it's fun, there's lots of space, there's food and drink. <laughs> Are we there? Uh, no. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, there's no space, because I had to make boom. <laughs> there we go. Love a little. I, w I, might, I might go, I might pop up to Harrogate. Uh, it's a beautiful place. I love Harrogate, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, so if you want to go, your tickets are at the bottom of the screen. Newbury is the 14th of November 2021 and your Harrogate date is your, here, 23rd of October 2021. Uh, your details are there, different item numbers. Click on the link and you'll find out who is going to be there. Right then, jump to the website. This is how you have a little look. There's your three uh, stamps that I've just showed you. There's your tickets as well. Now, if you click on the tickets, that will give you a full list of everyone. Should we have a look who's going to be there? I bet Yanis has booked his own stand, didn't he? Uh, you've got Sam Paddock's in there, <laughs> Honeydew Crafts are there, Hobby Art is there, our very own celebrity John Lockwood is there as well. Well, I never. Sweet Poppy Stencils are there, the Cool Cat Girls are there, Crafty Rue is there, the Stamp Hut is there, uh, Lucy's there from Sweet Poppy Stencils, uh, plus many more. Our very own little Derek. I'll pay for him to go, get him out of the house. Um, We'll send him to both of them. Uh, Derek will be there as well. That's on me. Lou oh. Withers usually comes to shop because it's local to her. Lou Withers yeah. will be there. So, uh, oh, <laughs> if Lou's going to be there, then she'll do a little turn. If you ask her to do a dance, we'll, bring a, we'll ask her to bring her juggling clubs and the fire. She will love it. Uh, but, well, Lou will be there all day. She's the cleaner. Right then. Busman's holiday. It is for our Lou. I've not seen her in ages. Right then, what are you up to? I'm going to stamp with the funky Christmas pattern. So I have got my plain one going straight onto the crease card for my background and I'm using a big juicy eye zinc Ooh. in emerald. Ooh. Hopefully I didn't overdo that but let's see. Because it's got solid trees as well as outline trees is why I use the platform but yes, the eye zinc, because it's so juicy, got them all first time, that's good. So I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes. Now I need a bit of paper towel, take off the excess before the next part, because we don't want that ink. Okay, so now I need my tile. And First we've got, mark. We've got these, are these little twitchies? These are twitchies, the big ones, not the inches. We've got the twitchies on the show. Let's bring in the details for those. We'll give you both details for the inches and the twinchies uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, 11 pounds and 99 pence, 569495 is your item number. You get it. Oh, look at that. That, that is a lot. 240 pop-out cardboard squares, 11.99. Is that the amazing glaze you're using now? It is, yes. So I've covered my tile with a clear embossing ink and then poured the amazing glaze on it. So There's I'm your amazing glaze. Oh, hang on, stop a minute. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence. There you go. This is your amazing glaze. So I'm going to take that out. So I'm going to leave the powder in the tray so I can pop it back in. Is that one of the snap trays I've also got on the this show This is well? the snappy tray. Yes, it is. Well spotted. So oh, we've got everything on this show. <laughs> I'm going to bring in my heat gun and start melting. So the first layer always takes the longest. Yeah, now, if you is that gun turned on? Yes. It's very quiet. Yes, it's the heat it the craft tool, the one that's perfect for shrink plastic. Oh. So it takes a little longer with powders, but it's just right for shrink. So this is the amazing glaze that we're watching at the moment. This is your embossing <laughs> powder, fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. So I'm I guessing. usually do about three layers oh, okay. of this because I want it nice and thick for so I can stamp into it. So that is warm. Put that down. Pick that up carefully. Drop it in my powder. Now, if you don't want to pick it up while it's hot, let it cool down, and then re-ink it with the clear ink cover it with the powder like the first layer. Okay. This is just so the quicker. How can we do three layers and not just one layer? 
because I want it thick enough that when I stamp into it, you can really see the impression. So this is, Amazing Glaze is a thick embossing powder. If you did this with a regular clear embossing powder, you'd probably end up doing like 10 or 15 layers. Oh, okay. Especially if it's like a detail, <laughs> fine. But if we, went on, if we had an image underneath and we went on with one layer, we'd still say our image yes. underneath, it, it goes clear. Yes, you would see it, but it wouldn't necessarily be totally smooth. The first one is often pitted and not oh. quite smooth. That's why I would do two layers over an image but three layers if I'm stamping into it. So that is layer number three. So I can pop that away. That tray's good, isn't it? I, I need one of these trays. I had to use it. I, we had glitter out the other day. Oh. <laughs> I don't do glitter at the best of times, but we had glitter out. We were glittering butterflies the other day, and I had to get a little funnel. And we had a funnel and a glitter oh. part. With that, I could have gone straight back into the pot. Yeah. If you try and hold a funnel, the tray, and a four-year-old. Uh, oh, it didn't go back. <laughs> okay, so I'm just prepping the next point before I heat this one. So I've got my stamp ready, I've got my ink pad, and I've got gold. So with the gold, I'll probably do two layers because it's such a fine powder. If I just do one layer, can I get away with one? I Let I me know. have a look. Yeah, we'll go on, we'll give it with one. But if sometimes, if you press too hard, you might kind of get some translucent bits. So it'll give you a different look. We'll give it a go. We'll Let's just do one layer. A, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we don't like it, I'll reheat it and do it again. We'll just so put another layer on. Every cloud. 14 pounds, so 99 pence. If you want the little tray though, that's the tiny tray and that comes with the black and white embossing powder. It comes as, as well. a set of three trays the tiny ones so you get three tiny trays in the black and white embossing <laughs> powder there you go that's what it looks like flat pack that's okay. what it'll look like when it arrives to you clip it together what have you got three tiny trays and black and white embossing powder <laughs> so i'm gonna pour on the gold make sure i've got all the corners yeah they come let me just show you can you see they come flat they come as a strip so you just pull them apart and then just bend the creases in both directions because then when you clip it together it'll sit flat on the table and you can stack them so nice. they just hook in whereas the snappy tray has snaps on it and they snap together I see what you've done there so that just sits inside there it, I can't take credit this is Judikins <laughs> Robert Judikins is a bit of an engineer Okay, so didn't get powder there, so I will have to do a second layer. But the gold will melt a lot quicker because it's a much thinner, finer powder. So can you heat this up and then go back? Oh, I suppose you can, can you? You can go back in with the gold again, you're not going to affect it. It's not going to yep. be like thicker in one bit and smaller in another. No, no. And well, as you melt it, it kind of flattens out. The longer you melt it, the, the flatter it kind of gets. So if I put a, you know, a pile of powder in the middle, I keep heating and it will just kind of smoosh out a bit. Smoosh, technical word. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So you Look can see that. this is metallic gold embossing powder. It's getting metallic warm in gold. here. <laughs> it is your end. <laughs> oh, look at that for a sheen and a shine. It does look like gold plated. Yeah, but because... I well, what I could do actually is I could just sprinkle in the missing areas and then heat it instead of doing an extra layer. Always reminds me of that chef I used to watch on TV with a pinch of this and a pinch of that. I like this. I like. Oh, right. I can't believe how flat it is. So while that's almost done, I need to ink my stamp. Now you really need to have your stamp inked when you do this so that um, it will release. And this we go fun down. Funky Christmas stamp that we're using now. And I've got it on a thick acrylic block. So it's got some weight behind it. So. 11 pounds and 99 pence. And I'm putting. 851 is your item number. Firm pressure on. Firm pressure. And then I can just let it cool for a second. Let's have and a look this doesn't at affect this. the stamps in any way? No, that's why we ink them. Because also it puts the colour in the embossing powder, but it helps to release it. 
if um, if you don't ink it, it will probably pull off some of the powder and stuff, but it will clean off okay. on okay. rubber. Um, we only do this with rubber stamps. I wouldn't do it with clear because I don't know how they will... Okay, so don't only do it with the rubber. I know it works with rubber. <laughs> I can't guarantee the safety of any other stamps. Oh, look so at that. Yeah, so you can see all the, the lines and the... And I used the green stays on pigment, shamrock green, so that it stays in the embossing powder, whereas the eye zinc would rub off because it's a water-based ink. So I have... I love that. I've made a green layer with the eye zinc ink pad to match my trees. And the Happy Christmas, I've embossed in the same gold embossing powder. You get your little Happy Christmas with your little Nomi stamp. Happy Christmas and Happy Birthday. Details are at the bottom of the screen. So I'm just, oh, that's not dry. Even yet. that's a nice card on its own, though. Yes, it is. You could get some um, glitter glue and just kind of follow the, the lines. That is a quick and easy Christmas card that you can you could do bat you could ma batch make them. Yep, you can do them in different colours. So your favourite colours or different colours for different people, or just when or if you've yeah whatever ink pads you've got. I mean mine would probably be purple or red, so I would pop that on there because they're, they're cardboard tiles they're lightweight so just a regular glue will hold it in place. And that also means they're not going to be sort of front heavy, are they? They're not going to be cards no. that keep falling over, then you put in the drawer because you're sick of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> we've, all, we've all had them in the past. Yeah, no, they're not front heavy, so they're, they're fine. But if, if it's only got one on it, if you put three, you, you might need a little weight at the a back. weight at the back. Yeah. Is that it? Can you turn that around to one so we can see it standing up? Look at that. Just so you can see it all works. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, and it can be yours for £11.99. Not the card, that's the stamp. Because uh, <laughs> then you can make as many cards as you want to make. 371851 is your item number. Let me show you the brand new stamps uh, that we've got today. First of all, we've got Nomi's Cottage that we're looking at here. Um, I love these. These are done by our Sherry West uh, over in the States. Uh, these, they are standalone cards. You don't need anything else with them. Just stamp Nomi Cottage and they are good to go. Or sort of for all occasions as well and all ages, I feel, little Nomi Cottage. Even if you're doing scrapbooks, new home cards, uh, photo albums, journals, you could do so much more. Because if you've got a small uh, round sort of die, you could cut that door out and have it on a hinge or a little, uh, little sharp craft knife. You could do that. It does look like a little hobbit house uh, that you've got there. You could have a whole scene of them uh, and just paint them in different colours uh, that you've got. I absolutely adore it. And I also think the roof, you could also turn that, if you are going to do a larger photo, you could turn it into sort of like a water feature with water coming out the top if you want to do like a little water fountain uh, that you've got there. Uh, it works well with the little Nomi that we've also got on the show. It would also work well with some of your background. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Uh, for your new home uh, that you've got there. Uh, simple colours uh, that you can use as well. You haven't got to go all, all bells and whistles, just, to, just done in the blue with a light pink roof and colouring the flowers. You're getting two lots of flowers on there. You're getting Christmas flowers and you're also getting your summer flowers as well. And it is a good size stamp, £12.99. 181 through 138 is your item number, brand new today. Then to go in your cottage, We've then got Nomi is what we're looking at now. Love this stuff. I'm a bit, I am a massive fan of Gnome stamps. I don't know what it is about them. I think it just, they're just cute. It reminds me of myself. Uh, you've got <laughs> that. I didn't think anyone was listening then, to be honest. Uh, you've got that little Gnome stamp uh, that you've got. How beautiful uh, is he? Uh, there's so many things you could do with him. £16 and 99 pence. You also get your happy birthday and you also get your happy Christmas. Works well with your Nomi Cottage. Also works well with the trees that we've got on the show. Uh, love these. Let me show you some of the samples once again. I like this, like the choir of gnomes. A little choir of gnomes that you've got there. Using the Eclipse Masking Tape. Guess what? I've got it on the show. Uh, you've got the Eclipse Masking Tape on the show. Then you've got... Your, it does look a bit like Noel Edmonds. I'm not going to lie. It's got that Noel Edmonds, that Gnome Edmonds look to him. Well, Sherry won't know who he is. 
so. <laughs> Go I'm sure they've got deal or no deal or, you know, the house party. Uh, we've got the snow globe on the show. Uh, love all of it. Look at these with the little fluffy beard that you've got going on there as well. How's that beard done? Um, liquid applique fluffy stuff. It's, you, you squeeze it on out of a little bottle and then heat it with a hairdryer yeah. and it just puffs up. Lovely. Uh, love, 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 love them all. I absolutely love them all. Uh, and then one more. That one's off. £16, 99 pence, 506, 531 is your item number for this one. You're not only getting your gnome, you're also getting your happy birthday and you're getting your happy Christmas as well. And then last but no means least, uh, we've also got the trees on the show. Uh, these are the ones, these are your funky Christmas. Um, I like the different designs of the trees because this will work with any stamp, any other Christmas stamp that you've got. Look at the tartan one down at the bottom. That is a clean and crisp card. You can't really go wrong with that card. On your backing paper, happy Christmas over the top, black versifying Claire, all black stays on and you're good to go. Using your pink inks. Look at that, just pink ink, stamped down, good to go, matte and layout round the edge. Uh, there is so many things um, that you can do uh, like this. Clean and simple, I was trying to look for a card and I couldn't find it. Uh, clean and simple cards uh, that you can do, absolutely loving. We'll bring the, uh, we're gonna see them, I'll give you the details for those angels uh, very, very shortly. But look at these cards, how beautiful, and I'm sure the DT term won't mind me saying it, quick and simple cards as well, uh, but still modern looking. They're not gonna date, this is not gonna be a Christmas that you buy now and next year you go, oh, I can't use that again. No. That's so, that was so last year. <laughs> Well, it's not one of those stamps. Th this stamp is probably, this design is probably 20 years old. Is but it? This, this year is the first time we've made it over here and cling mounted, as opposed to before that you could only buy it on wood from America. Oh, you see, so it's the first time you're getting it cling mounted uh, this time. Worth having a little look at, £11.99. It's uh, really, really handy uh, to have. Some other stamps though that I'd also be throwing into my baskets as well. Uh, you've got the angels. Loving the angels. We've only seen their cute little faces, but you do get full bodies on these. They sell out time and time again. £13.49. 493300 is your item number. Um, there you go. There are your two angels that you've got. It's getting a little bit click happy. £13 and 49 pence. What else have we got on the show? We've also got your snow globe. I like this as well. I do like this as a stamp. This is your snow globe with your trees and snowmen. Trees are handy to have. Those trees are really handy to have with the little cottages and things that you may already have in your stamp form. And for £10.99, this is a good little show. You could get a decent amount of stamps in and put it onto two flexes if you're going over that £60 mark, remember. 025098 is your item number, £10.99. and pence. Something else we got? We've got some of the essentials on the show. And they are essentials, to be honest. Uh, this is what they this is what they look like. <laughs> uh, these are this is your this would be good for the gnome. Because you've got the mountain range, you've got the clouds, you've got the sun or the moon, if you wanted it to be, that's already in there. Uh, you've also got like your mark, you've also got like your mark makings. It's it's just kind of a, a dotty, just to fill in the gaps. When when you've got a, a blank card and it, you, it's just too much blankness, so you can add some shading with it, you can build up the clouds with just those dots. That, that's all they are, they are just dots. <laughs> I like them. Uh, what um, sentiments have we got in there? We've got happy birthday, best wishes, with love, <laughs> congratulations, thank you. Uh, some nice little greetings that you are going to use time and time again. £14.99, 351187. And then finally, we've got the frames. Uh, here they come. Uh, remember, you've got your frames on the show as well. 066723 is your item number. This sort of... It sounds ridiculous, and I don't mean the pun. This is just frame of work. This is a quick yep. and easy. If mm -hmm. you're scared of A4 or even A5, then big pieces, I would stamp this, and then you go into the middle of this because it just it just condenses everything yeah. down. Yeah, well, you're, you're seeing one of the Nomi samples. I put Nomi popping out of the postage frame because yeah. um, he's too big for the frame, but I just just wanted part of him. So it's just the top half. It, it I love just, them. It's just perfect. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's there coming up look. on the screen now. Yeah, so that's on a, a craft card, and I coloured with some polychromos pencils, and I just coloured the frame white, stamped, masked it, stamped the funky Christmas in the background, and then cut the slot in the bottom of the frame. So his legs are actually dangling on the inside of the card. <laughs> Are well, no, really? you won't see them. I don't think you'll see them on the inside. They're probably in the layer behind. So, oh. but yeah. 
so they're in yeah. there. But you could go straight through the car and have them dangling on the inside. Doing on the inside. Yeah. I love them. And then you've also <laughs> got the all-night fame as well. 066723 is your item number 15 pounds and 98 pence. Right, Sarah, we'll come back to you. What you're up to this hey. Whoa, breathe. <laughs> know me cottage. So we're going to, uh, again, with the eye sink, this one is petrol, petrol blue. And I'm stamping this onto a, a recycled card because it doesn't object to a little water as opposed to a smooth white card. Okay, plenty of ink on there. Now it is a, a big stamp, so I would always recommend using your platform for this one. So yes, that is all there. Now we're not gonna heat it because we want to move the color around okay. a little bit with my water brush. Make sure I've got some water flowing. So we just, now all these eye zincs are very strong colours. So you want to keep wiping off onto a paper towel. And if you, if you find too much water comes out of your brush, just dab it off. But we can just move around. So I, I did one of these with, I think, maybe a vintage photo. I did a sample and then because there's not as much detail in this, or the shading like you, we get with some of the Terry Sherman designs, it's more open. So I added some extra colour. I forget which colour, whether it was pink in with the brown. So we're just softening it up so it looks more like a, a painting. Um, but then what we need to do is actually cut out the door oh. because we're going to make a little guy to go on the inside of the door. I like so. it. So, um, Is that ah, using shrink plastic? We are, yeah. Yes. But to finish off this image, I've gone to my snow globe set and it's got a little uh, set of snowflakes. Yeah. So with the same ink pad, we're going to gently ink and then we're going to stamp multiple times because it's a very strong ink and we'll put it out of the way so you want to keep going so you've got lots of different shades of blue we don't want it all too dark and then and turn them they are slightly different snowflakes Vicky just drew me a whole bundle of snowflakes and then I just chose three that we could use. So what you can do if you, if you want to soften some of them, you could just add a touch of water. Just a little bit. And then dab off. So it just kind of softens the snowflake. Right, now I've got blue fingers. Let's move this out the way and we need some shrink we have shrink plastic if you want your shrink plastic we've also got that on the show as well details are coming in for your shrink plastic uh, we've got three different versions we've got sanded clear or white of your shrink plastic all under the same item number 388651 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence uh, are you using the white i am using the white yes because I want this one to really stand out. Whereas the sample you've got with the two Nomi's on, one each end, different colours, yep. that one was in the sanded. Ah. Um, it depends what you want to colour with. If you want to colour with your alcohol pens, you really want to stamp on the clear or the sanded because your alcohol pens cannot go on the same side as your ink pad. Oh, okay. <laughs> If you've never used shrink plastic before, would you suggest you go for the mix pack? So you get two white, two clear, yes. two sanded, uh, four sanded, sorry, yeah. uh, for ten ninety nine. But then you've got a bit of you've got a bit of everything to have a little go at. That's it. Yeah, you've got a couple of sheets of each you can play with, unless you've got a specific project in mind. Uh, yeah, I would go for the mix pack to start with, and then you'll find your favourite. But then mine varies depending, obviously, on what I want to achieve. Um, but for things like this, I like the white. When it comes to flowers and butterflies, wow. I like the sanded because it gives them the softness that you want them to have. 
So move that out of the way. And brushables. Brushables are perfect for your shrink plastic. But what you have to remember is when it shrinks, the colour intensifies. So don't go for the darkest colours. And don't oh, worry okay. too much about shading because it's going to go down to about a third of its size. So if you spend loads of time shading it, um, you're going to lose most of it. So just, oh, I've lost my microphone. <laughs> right then, let me give you the details for the Nomi's that we've got there. Uh, your little Nomi, 16 pounds and 99 pence. Um, you imagine stamping these out and then uh, putting a little, a little, um, uh, I've all, I've all, I'm all to fluffled now. Uh, they put a little cocktail stick in his hand with a little, with a little piece of wire on, like a little fishing rod, like a little fishing rod that you've got. So little gnome standing there with his little fishing rod next to him. Uh, Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's always chaos when Sarah's here. Uh, five zero six five three one is your item number for your little <laughs> gnome, and also your two sentiments as well. Right, let's get back to your shrink plastic demo. Oh dear, sorry. It, it just disappeared. Right, I need wow. to colour this in and cut this out so I can shrink it for you because I forgot to prep one. That was clever, wasn't it? <sighs> it's been a week. <sighs> is it? No. Is it Tuesday or it Wednesday? Is, yes. <laughs> is, this, is this the day you let out the home? Or yeah, that's it. Got to go back tonight. Yeah. <sighs> okay, hat. Hat. How's sister? Yeah, she's good. I mean, school holidays. So oh, she's got the kids. Yeah. That's why she's not here. I think she's only got one today. What's she doing with the other one? <laughs> two. She lost it, left it. The, <laughs> <laughs> the other two are with someone else. Ah. Okay, so let's have some grey boots. And... I like this design because it's easy to cut out as well. Yeah, You've nice simple design. You've not made him too tricky to cut out. And he is the first in a series. Sherry, I put ink in the wrong place there. Just wipe it off. Sherry has designed a whole collection of Nomis. So there's going to so be more. He's the first one. And then th there are children and uh, So you're buying ladies. into something that you can now, you're going to be able to grow a collection of Nomis is what you're buying into because this is the one of many we've now been told the first one right the tongue okay i'll just trim this out quickly so. while our sort of trims out we've <laughs> got uh, clipped masking tape on the show as well let me give you the details uh, for the masking tape because this stuff is always popping out and it's it is a bit like red line tape. It's an essential. You need one of these in your life. It's very rare. I normally say you need stuff. Uh, but you get 10 metres of the Eclipse masking tape. This will now can turn any of your stamps into little masks. So if you want to do your mats and layers, as in you want to do your backgrounds and foregrounds and make things further in the back, and you want to put your Nomi in front of your cottage, but you don't want to stick him on and cut him out, but you want to do more on the same work, this is the perfect thing to do. Uh, 888209 is your item number. Let me give you the dates for Stamp Stamparama. Whoop whoop. Stamparama's back. Harrogate, 23rd of October 2021. At £3 pounds per ticket. Uh, 055864. Did you say third? No, three. Okay. Sorry. Too much hair. I can't hear. Three, <laughs> three pounds <laughs> is your ticket for Harrogate. 055863 is your item number. Newbury is at the bottom as well as the 14th of November at uh, £2.50. Uh, 354597 is your item number. John Lockwood's there. Um, Fruit Sweet Poppy stencils will be there as well. And there'll be loads of others. I'm guessing there'll be a bandstand with live music. There's food and drink. There's sanitised. There's no music? No. We don't, no, no music, I'm afraid. Not a, not a little trumpeter? No, we don't have a licence for music. Oh, I'm sure someone can bring a set of bagpipes. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> I was going to bring my harmonica and my little triangle. No, we're, we're too busy crafting. No, no time for music. Fair enough, then. But uh, they do amazing food in Harrogate. There is cracking food in Harrogate. And also, I'm getting in Newbury as well. I'm sure they have a Greg's. 
dates. Oh, and we will be announcing the new date for Alexandra Palace soon. Oh, okay. After Rama. That will be um, next year, though, not this year. Okay, so I've just done a very rough cut. And because we have sticky out fingers and a little bobble hat, I'm going to put my anti static bag on there just to hope that we don't have any mishaps. Because when you've got little bits that stick out, there is the possibility that they'll curl up and get stuck to themselves. Okay. So the anti-static bag just helps to stop that from happening. So if you oh, find that go. he's not shrinking, you can get closer. If you think he's shrinking too fast, pull up. But don't, don't turn off the heat, just keep going. Favourite bits. Here we go. Then all of a sudden he lays flat again. <laughs> there he goes, look. It's like a yoga position, then he downward dog. So this is when two. most people get scared and they think, oh no, it's gone all wrong. So they even flipped over himself. You can do this in the oven. You don't have to do it with the heat gun. Look at that. We're just flipping back over. Now, if you want him completely flat, just gently lay an acrylic block on top. Okay. That just keeps him flat? That just makes it flat, yeah. Now, you can see, obviously, he's got powder. So we can just brush away. Oh, yeah, look at the intensity of the colour now. Yeah. Oh, I love you it. You see how strong the colour is and how tiny he is. Look at that, from the original stamp that you've just stamped out. If I've grabbed that, there you go. Look at that, <laughs> what he is now in your shrink plastic. <laughs> so you could do that with all the, you could also do that with the house as well, I'm guessing. You could really shrink the house down if you wanted full yes. background background. Yes, I did, I did shrink a house, but I didn't actually get to finish um, making a card with it. So unfortunately, I can't show you that one today. But, so this is a finished house with a cut out door. And little Nomi is going to go inside the door, oh, just look there. At that. So I like the the Joy micro dots for sticking my shrink plastic because they're really strong. They will hold the shrink in place. If we haven't got micro dots, what else would hold shrink? Um, a permanent a permanent glue. Yeah. So he's around there. Not a water-based glue. Oh, Pop him him. And then I've got some foam tape on the back here so that, because of the extra depth. But obviously you could put him in a shaker card. But this is just a little peekaboo card. So he's in his cottage. And there he is, just saying hello. That's nice. <laughs> And the Christmas wishes are from the Snow Globe set as well. So remember, if you want to get hold of yours, the details on the side of the screen is your shrink plastic. It's your mix pack. You get two white, two clear, and four standard. And then on the bottom of the screen, you've got your funky Christmas cling mount rubber stamp that's in there as well. Uh, Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Uh, let me give you a quick recap of Nomi Cottage once again, and then we'll go back for another demonstration. Uh, your little Nomi Cottage that you've got here. Uh, it's not little at all. It's absolutely huge is what you're looking at for your little Nomi cottage. I absolutely love it. So you go from that, stamp it out, and then you go to colour it in. And you can do so much with it. £12.99, 181138 is your item number for that. Look at that one at the bottom with the little shrink plastic and the little green. I like that one as well, that one there. It has that sort of oriental with the oriental dome that sits on the top that you've got there with a little gnome on down, walking down the path. Uh, it is. Uh, it's just a pop colour on the door and on the plants and on that little walkway all the way up. Uh, if you want the little gnome though that goes with them, uh, I've also got that. It's a different item and number uh, for your little gnome that you've got here. Uh, here he is, look. Here he's comes the little gnome. So you're getting the little gnome stamp. You're also getting your two sentiments in there as well. £16.99 is what you're looking for. Uh, love it. I absolutely love this set. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And you can do so much with them. Look how different 
uh, you can make them from your Christmas all the way through uh, to your standard cards. So these are your birthday cards. And remember, there will be more of the gnomes on the way on future shows. So if you are loving the gnomes, which you are, you're buying into a collection at the moment. You really are buying. What happens when we open this? Oh, look, so there's more. Oh, we got more gnomies in there. Uh, in the back. So the reindeers are on the website. So if you wanted the reindeers, we've also got those as well. So you can go from uh, that little gnome all the way through to your blue little gnome. So you've got uh, different colours. It just changes his personality uh, that's on there. And then on the back, uh, you've got like a little, like little pocket, uh, like a little tag in or something like that. Like it's a light that you've got in there. Uh, then... Um, you, the frames, we've got them on the website as well if you want to go for the frames. There is so much out there. Oh, cards like this. This is the little shrink we were talking about, done in the frosted uh, this time. Though. So that is your frosted set of shrink plastics. They do look like gnomes there, don't they? And that sort of red and the green that you've got going on uh, with Happy Christmas. But they could little be Father Christmas. They could be elves if you wanted them to as well with little tiny presents. £16.99, 506531 is your item number. Then last but no means least, we've also got your trees on the show as well. We are loving the trees. Uh, we did that first demonstration. The trees have been the, the busiest so far. The first demonstration, uh, we did this. Uh, we did it into little twitches uh, that you've got on there. How beautiful is that that you are looking at? £11.99 is what you're getting for this one. Nice little background cards. Nice little backgrounds, nice little standalone cards. If you want quick and simple Christmas cards, this is the way to go. £11.99, 371851 is your item number. Uh, let's have a little look at the website because there's so much in there that we haven't even seen yet. So these are three brand new stamps and there are your two uh, tickets. You've got your Eclipse ma Art Masking Tape. You've got your black and white embossing powder trays and you get three trays in there. You've got your snap tray with also your anti-static bag. You've also got your Christmas um, stars on there. You've got your Astro Twinkles on there. Uh, you've also got your snow globes. You've got your frame. There's the angels. Big five star reviews for your angels. Loving the angels. Uh, then you've got your cling shrink plastics on there as well. And you clear, you've got your twitches in there, you've got your inches, you've got your twinches in there, you've got just twinches in there, you've got your diamond glaze with three nubs as well, stainless steel. Then you've got your amazing glaze and then freedom. Amazing glaze. Uh, then you've got your seven day savers. Oh, look at that little tape bundle. A nice little tape bundle uh, for £29.99. You get red liner, you get foam, liquid tape. What's liquid tape? Well, I never. I think it's for. I think it's for when you're painting and then you just rub it. Uh, anyway, let's get back to another demonstration, shall we, Sarah? What are we up to this time? Okay, so I've stamped Nomi with my Versafine Claire, and then I'm using my Snow Globe set Oy. and a green ink pad. So these are from the Snow Globe. Yeah. So this is the large tree. So I need a couple of the large one. And a quick blast. Now, last time I showed these trees, I stamped them onto craft card and coloured with a white pencil. So this time I've stamped them onto a, it's an off-white card, and I'm going to colour with a, a green pencil that needs sharpening. I think last time I added green and white, but I don't need to add white this time because it's already there. Oh, so you're just adding the green. So just adding, yeah. So you, you know it's a green tree, it's an evergreen, but it's just got a bit of snow on the end. It's being weighed down by the snow. Obviously you could just colour it all green, so there's no snow at all. Then it would just be a green tree? Yeah, for a different season. So just a little bit of I mean, I like doing this with the, the pencils because I want kind of a rough finish, like you would have on a tree. I like it. So just a little Once again, bit. simple to cut out if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, simple trees. Because I can't draw, Vicky can draw. I said, we need, we need trees, snowy trees. But once again, imagine taking your gnome, imagine taking your trees and putting them through your Kaleido and foiling them. 
Then you can have green foil trees. Oh, sparkly ones. With any colour on top as well. And yeah. You sparkly gnome. So then... Disco gnome. Disco gnome, wow. So with the gnome, same again, just colouring him in. Red is always my go-to for some reason. Christmas, I guess. If I was doing a non-Christmas card, I'd probably go purple. Or orange. Yeah, orange gnome, blue gnome. If you, I suppose if you call it in blue, it'd look like a smurf. <laughs> other, other small blue people are available. <laughs> the Blue Man Group and Avatar. I've seen the Blue Man Group. Have you? I have. They slightly scare me. We were uh, um, on a business trip in Vegas. Oh yeah, a business trip in Vegas. I've heard about them. Yeah, and yeah. Um, part part of the um, the trip. The trip. They they said, "Oh, you get a special deal on tickets to go see the Blue Man Group." Oh, okay, yeah. why not? I had no idea what it was. Someone's doing well. There was a few years well, ago. You just thought it was just a blue man. No, no. I, I knew it was, you know, <laughs> something to do with music and I don't know. I just say I didn't really know exactly what it was. Blue man who's freezing cold. <laughs> oh, it's cold today. So I had no um, preconceived ideas. Yeah, blue man's group's good. So it, yeah, it was a really good night. If there's anybody watching from Vegas and you'd like to send me over. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, please. I can bring all this with me. Yeah, they they don't hold it in Vegas anymore, which is a shame. If anyone's still watching from Vegas, you guys <laughs> need to come over. <laughs> the, the the trade show they don't hold in Vegas anymore. Oh, no, I'm just talking about in general. Well, Celine yeah. Dion, if she's watching, yeah. Barry Manilow. Should I name the hotel? Oh, I stayed in that the hotel where he is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if they're Donny and Mary Osmond if you're watching, <laughs> and you want a craft channel from your stage. I'm the one to call. So mm. I've created masks of my trees. So remember when you're creating your mask. Is this using the Eclipse? Using the Eclipse tape, yeah. So you want to cut off the outer line of the image so you don't create a shadow. So let's have some more trees. We've had a question. Oh. Oh, from Tracy, our Tracy. She says, great to see the shows are coming back. It's been a long time. Can you let me know if I need to have a ticket uh, beforehand, or can she buy on the day for the shows? Well, we believe you can buy on the day. We haven't been told. There are no rules to say you have to have an advance ticket. So I would say you can pay Is on the day. Is there a limited amount of tickets due um, to numbers? Well, it's such a big venue, we've never exceeded. <laughs> we, we have a far bigger venue than we need, so that we have lots of space. So I don't think it'll be an issue. If I were you, Trace, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it as it is, because I think Sarah's been quite, quite bad. <laughs> I think she's been quite bad. If it was me, I would pre-book your ticket. There's not been a show Well, then you're guaranteed, yeah. There's not been a show. I think this is one of the first, I think. Um, it's the first one I've heard of. You don't know how busy it's going to be. Uh, we've sold a fair few tickets this hour alone. Uh, so, Tracy, if, if I was you and you, wanted it, and you definitely want a ticket, I wouldn't chance it for the day. And, and, and people at the end can of the day, use you've only lost two fifty or three quid. The people um, that bought tickets last year, they're still valid for the show. Oh, here we go then. So, interesting. And we've just had an email from Brenda talking about this. I bought tickets for May third, twenty twenty. Yep. As this was cancelled, can we use this yes. one? Yes. Yes. Definitely. And this is the same venue, so you can't mix up your venues. It's the same venue. Yeah. You, the they're same. a long way apart, so. I, know, but I didn't know yeah. if, if you had a, a ticket, you could go anywhere. Well, to be honest, I'd let you in, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, look. There you go, you shouldn't have said that on the telly. <laughs> but there's a long way to travel from Berkshire up to Harrogate. They'll so. do it. Okay, so I need my one now... View, my one viewer's got a camper van. <laughs> she don't care. She'll, she'll stay over the night. So now I'm using the um, essentials. And this is kind of the one we use for grass or sand or snow. Oh, I think we need a belt there. Okay, so we have 
snow then so we that need is your essential cling mounted rubber stamps you get six images and five greetings in there it's quite a little handy set to have on your table isn't it it is yeah because this is the one that's got the clouds and other bits and it's just again if you've got blank spaces like you've got the cottage and you think it needs something else what does it need well put some clouds in the sky or just some dots in the background just to add a little bit of texture Right, well, we've so got two minutes left. Oh no! I know. I haven't even done the pop-up bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Quickly make your pop-up. Let me show you the pop-up. Okay, these are called pop blocks. Um, now you could obviously do this with strips of card. Um, so you form a little square, put glue on several sides. But these are ready-made. So there's no glue on the side that goes on the top and half glue on the one that goes on the front. So you pop a tree oh, on there. These are nice. And then you close the card. Is this like the modern way where we used to cut into the card and make like a little box out of it? Yes. Oh, God, get on there. It's because I'm trying to do it for the camera. <laughs> no, don't you, you just, you do it and then stick it on. Otherwise we'll run out of time and we won't okay. see it. We'll follow you. All right, I'll just pop that and in Jimmy's there. And there, we can see you. You can see me, but you can't see what I'm doing. No, we can see what you're doing. Okay, so then that goes down, and you give it a good rub with a dirty hand. And then the, the oh, that's nice. tree. So what you would do, for what I've done for Nomi, is I've put two squares together. Ah, can you see? Uh, if you took that the other way, that there way. we go. So there's two squares I've attached together. To so that he stands further forward in front of the trees. I like this. So Car. he's in the foreground, trees are in your so background, yeah. fold it down. Little Nomi pops up to say hello. Uh, we haven't <laughs> got that long left. Thank you, so it's always a pleasure. Thank you. It's always a giggle. When are you back? 7th of August. 7th of August. More August. Christmas, new with, Christmas. With new Nomis? Not Nomis yet, no. Yet. I yet. like the word yet. <laughs> um, there will be new Christmas coming over. Don't you go anywhere. Check out the website. There's loads from Sandbag Eats on the website as well. You've got your clip tape. You've got all your clip boxes. Uh, it's worth having a little look at. Uh, I will see you Friday morning, bright and breezy. Don't go anywhere. Uh, there's loads coming up. Watch. <laughs>